everybody who is watching this video. I'm Sir Olenjola in Mokota, Yailo Singo from the beautiful, fantastic, unique and wealth country called the United Republic of Tanzania. So in case that maybe you are shining or you are wondering enough, this is our national flag. I would like to welcome you into this fantastic uh, session of engineering mathematics. Well enough, before I would like just to spend a few minutes or a couple of the minutes just to give a little introduction of the visions of the channel and they, uh, they, 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 I have this is our official YouTube channel called Online Diploma Poly Institute of Tanzania in square bracket all in July M. It's our official uh, YouTube channel. And then so I would like to welcome you into this official YouTube channel. As the way that the name is indicating that online diploma, the message is online, every word that has a meaning. This is diploma, it means the level that I'll be teaching in this YouTube channel. This Poly Institute, this is combinations of the three way of the two words. Poly means polytechnic. Institute, this is the abbreviations of institution, of what? Of Tanzania. It doesn't mean that I'm teaching only Tanzanians. Uh, this is a global program, so everybody can benefit from this material, but I'm using the syllabus of United Republic of Tanzania because I should have a focus. I know the mathematics should be learning in India. I know the engineering mathematics they should learn there, but you might find it a little a little difference because I made a research before I established this YouTube channel. So the main visions of these problems, uh, of this vision is I'm solving a particular problem. And the problem is this, when I was at uh, my undergraduate studies at the Islam Institute of Technology, I experienced many problems that have been, have been, have been encountered to the ordinary diploma students. And the problem, the main pro one of the problem is based on the engineering mathematics. And the main problem is that the students fail to understand differently or the six modules of engineering mathematics in or in ordinary diploma. I began to solve it when I was there because I'm, I'm solving problems in any community that I used to be. I began to solve it, but wasn't it enough because of the time? So you know that I have to teach maybe six modules for ordinary diploma. They are, there are three classes or there are three levels, AT level 4, AT level 5, AT level 6. I claim a level best, but I think this is the best one because it's not limited about the time, not limited about the space, not limited as uh, to meet physically between me and the students. So the methodology that I'll be solving, how am I going to solve these problems that are good questions right now? I'll be solving these problems because I'll be using different techniques, different teaching aids, different approach of solving problems. I'll be using different picks, right? I'll be using different approach. I'll be using different uh, ways of teaching the engineering mathematics, which the departments where you are right now, teaching students and to help ordinary diploma students to understand the world concepts of engineering mathematics and not only to understand to be applicable in the small dimensions of the class of exam or exams, no, but I want to teach them and I want to mentor them and to think, to teach them to think outside of the box, to think about the real life problems that they in their community, that's why they came to the a diploma level to get the knowledge and then go and solve those problems. So I will teach students how to think differently because I used to think differently. So in this channel, I'll be using different ways to teach you how to think differently and to think as the problem solver and not the problem problem maintainer or the problem creator. So that's the main main goal, so main visions of this channel. I'll make you love engineering mathematics, but I'll make you to think where can I apply these concepts in my own daily life because mathematics, we apply mathematics in our daily life. That's the truth and we cannot fight against that truth. So example, the developments of electronic devices, that's the applications, great applications of mathematics, writing the programming, maybe writing a certain, la, certain or certain programs by using programming lab, we start the developments of mathematics. Having the mobile phone that you have, there's a lot of mathematical formulas and mathematical equations that should be executed or they are being so they are being used in order for you to perform a particular task in electronic device. So that's the visions of the channel. So for you to get connected, you should have an email. That's number one. If you don't have email, just spend three to four uh, minutes to open an, a, a Gmail or a Gmail or to have a Yahoo email or some other emails. Then the next step is saying in YouTube. 
and then the third step then make sure that you go or you search this channel you go to youtube search and write online diploma or institute of tanzania or letter like in m in square bracket then the channel will come there hence you see the red are the or the buttons software buttons which is has a red backgrounds and white ratings are subscribed press that buttons and then if you're using the computer if you, you are using the mobile phone it's enough it's fine if you're using a computer then red, the bell will appear there then click that bell and choose the options of all so from when you accomplish that process you'll be get notifications at any time when we add any video in this youtube channel for diploma or ordinary diploma students i will be teaching ordinary diploma students who are pursuing engineering and those who are pursuing uh, uh, science so this is for scientific and the engineering diploma students i have also some other four five youtube channels which i'll share you as long as when i'll be teaching you and i'll be introducing to you i'll be teaching on this lecture one okay so that's all so another thing don't be selfish share this material to your colleagues share this materials to your friends share this there's no limitation you know this material can learn them in bear can learn them in arusha technically in arusha can learn in the rest of the institute of technology can learn them in any institution maybe in Zanzibar, in ngoje in Pemba, in any of scientific or engineering diploma institutions or college or university they can learn so whether Maybe in the institution, in the mining institutions in New uh, in Dodoma, or maybe in New Dome, they can benefit from this material. I tell you that. So share with them. And also another thing that when we are watching this video, please tell us in the comment sections that uh, where are you come from. Again, another thing for because I used to make my classes very interactive for almost eleven years when I began to teach seriously, uh, uh, and just uh, accepted this gift of teaching. Uh, one thing which I want to tell you is in case you want to ask questions to interact Maybe you didn't understand or you have some more questions You want to interact or have a group discussion with other world students from the world That is a good uh, Mindset and it's a good design. So use the comment use the comment section which is being written here comment section below Miss uh, left of the video that you're watching right now use the comment sections to ask you questions and even to answer questions of other students and even myself I will be visiting the comments of each video as well as I can to answer the questions you left them there so don't be discouraged don't be maybe for example you ask a question today it might take maybe two to three days for me to visit each video because you know that there's a lot of things that I have to do so I insist you ask your questions and then tell us also in the comment sections you're watching this program from which institution from which regions of NATO, from which continent first of all from which country and then from which region or which yes from which region from which district from which institution so which college or which university so tell us in the comment section so we might know that where we have already arrived and where we haven't yet arrived so if that the case thank you very much for your attention the modules is called trigonometric and vector. Sometimes the syllabus might be reviewed, and then you find maybe the modules is called complex trigonometric and vector for some of the institutions. And so it don't get confused about that because also we teach complex number for the diploma level in this channel, but maybe in another modules. But the, the, the contents is the same. The word they are saying that for example, for this institution that I'm referring to, which is the Research Institute of Technology, they used to learn trigonometric and vector for in, in NTA level four for the first year diploma student. But also when they reach NTA level six, which is the third year, the last year for the ordinary diploma, they learn some other modules called the complex number, numerical method, and series, which also I'm teaching in this channel. So don't worry about it. Maybe the modules now, the new syllabus, or the modules at your institution is not in this form, trigonometric and vector. So don't get confused. The issue is these names of the modules should not confuse you, should not limit you. The issue is check the contents. So the, the main topic, the main topic is called the uh, excuse me, I think the main topic is called the vector. Okay, the main topic is called the, or the topic that I'll be teaching you today is called the vector. So this is vector for all diploma students. You learn vector during your uh, uh, all level studies, right? You learn vector during your all level studies. You learn you learn vector maybe during your advanced level studies. You can learn vector also during your undergraduate. So, you know, vector is very important topic for engineers and for scientists. 
Okay? Because we learn vector in all level studies. We learn vector also in A level. If you pursue the A level or we learn vector in diploma studies and also we learn vector in undergraduate studies. And if also we pursue some of the programs of postgraduate, we will also learn vector, which is we call it advanced vector now. So it's very important. Uh, we keep on building the foundations on because the prerequisites of this topic is the vector you learned during your ordinary diploma, during your ordinary secondary school. Don't worry in case you forgot those material because nobody insisted you. I will remind you most of the concepts because I love you. So if that's the case, let us join in this session one. So I will be teaching you in different ways, in different styles. So get started. This is the channel for the senior students. I would like to insist you and remind you every time. I'm very serious on this program and I want also to have senior students. So in case that you want to join me, please take all the required material. Take your exercise book, take your scientific calculator, take your pen, take your pencil for drawings because you'll be drawing graphs and presenting vectors. And then have a good mindset for learning and be open-minded to, to, to learn something new for the rest of your life or to re recall or to remember or to remind yourself what you, have, you, you knew before but you forgot it. So spend this time wisely and let us go together at the business. Welcome. Okay, so in session one or period or lecture one, let me just underline this, I would like just to introduce you three important things for this topic. The first important thing, this is for the entire module of your institution, I would like first of all to give you a list of reference, reference books and materials you need to understand different modules of under diploma level and also including vector. So reference books and materials of engineering or of engineering or scientific, so or scientific and the engineering. So this is engineering maths. So you may use this material and books, keep them. The first required material for you to master any modules in diploma level is one is one thing we call the course outline. It might be one paper, course outline, we call this course outline, okay? So the course outline of the module that you are learning, okay? So the first contents you need is the course outline of the module. So for example, if you are learning the module study a trigonometric and vector or complex trigonometric and vector, you have to ask the course outlines of, the module, of that module from your class or your physical teacher who has been assigned by your institutions to teach you. So that's very important. I have, I checked the them and I don't have the copy of them because uh, the, that the, uh, we call it just it's the property of the institution. So, but I know the content. Okay, course outlines of the module are by your, offered by your institutions or by your teacher, by your physical, just to say physical. This you'll get from your physical teacher. And in some of the institutions, they used to call this up enabling articles. That's the first reference. The, sex, the second reference book that you need, we call it basic mathematics. Basic engineering mathematics, not basic mathematics, excuse me. Basic engineering. So remember that when you say basic engineering, basic engineering and scientific. It means scientists also learn this mathematics for diploma level. Basic engineering are uh, mathematics. And the author of this book is by John Beck. Okay, by John Beck. So this is the author of that. So there is a fifth edition. You can have either fifth, fifth, fifth edition, uh, but also you can have sixth edition. You can have the soft copy or the hard copy. Then the third reference book, very important book for all the six modules of ordinary diploma at any level. Ordinary diploma of any institution or so in any country. Very important book. Because this is teaching basic engineering mathematics. Then the third reference, third reference is also called the higher engineering. 
can call it higher, not advanced, the higher engineering or higher science in other ways because the contents for science programs is the same. Okay, can be found this of higher engineering, engineering mathematics, uh, higher engineering mathematics. And in this higher engineering mathematics, we have the sixth edition. Okay, edition, it is sixth edition. Okay, can have soft copy or can have a hard copy. Sixth edition and the author by John Bell. By John Bell. So this is the author. And the good thing that you see something like he, you know, used to have that uh, it's a mechanical structure that which we, we used to find the bicycles, used to find the motorcycles, but you know we have uh, a kind of a puling. So you have a kind of a puling, very interesting picture. So I think that you will enjoy if you have if you have that book. Then the first reference, the first reference, you can also use another reference called the Higher Engineering Mathematics. Another book. It doesn't mean that you should have, but it's good if you have all the all of these reference books because now you will be well in engineering and scientific mathematics. So engineering mathematics. So share this material for any students or any of your friends or of or you can share with your young brother or your eldest brother, your, your elder brother who is pursuing ordinary diploma in engineering courses or in science courses. So higher engineering mathematics. Higher engineering mathematics. Higher engineering mathematics. So this higher engineering mathematics is authored by Ramana. Okay, by Ramana. So it's authored by Ramana. And then this is V.V. V, 2007. Okay, so that the first reference you should refer. Okay, then the, the fifth reference that you need to master any of the modules. For example, for this, you should have, uh, we call it, you should also have, um, we call a uh, diploma. So, diploma. Engineering, engineering, and the science or scientific. Okay, engineering and scientists. Let's say that scientists, scientists, not prepared by the first edition, and this is the first edition. First edition. Prepared by Sir Olenjolai Moko, who is teaching you right now. So you may get them from on, by copying the notes that I'm writing on the blackboard. This is almost the 80 percent of what I used to cover in my notes. But you can also have the hard copy of the notes. Or whether the software, you can order the hard copy of the notes, you can ship it to you, then you enjoy the beauty of engineering mathematics. The sixth reference again, so you can use internet. Know that this module is for first year diploma students. So, welcome to the first year uh, engineering and scientific diploma program. Okay, internet or online. Online books. So the internet is full of the books and the notes. So you can use them. Okay? The seven reference that you should also have test one, call it test one, test two, and then tutorial or call it tutorial question, tutorial questions, QM should also have assignment question. Or assignment sheet, the past the paper, right? Assignment sheet. So this we call them uh, past the paper. We start with the word past the papers or past the paper or past the sheets. 
trans papers because all of them are papers. So certain reference so we have some equality as the papers and these past papers should they should be test one of your institution for that particular model. Okay, test two. For this case it means should contain the vector questions, test two, and also tutorial. When you say tutorial questions, a lecturer or a tutorial assistant should prepare a list of the questions or some or number of the questions in order for you to master that concept. And also sometimes uh, in previous in previous years, your lecturer or some other lecturers offered what assignment sheets or assignments to the students. So for you you should have them and also you should have UE, this is the abbreviation social university exam for the deep at your leg of the models, so you call it university because I know your first year I should write the first exam. So in some of the institutions quality like university exam UE in abbreviation or in some of the institutions for the Islam Institute of Technology and they are actually technical they don't know the terms UE. Okay? They call it a fine exam. So the fine exam in abbreviations we used to call it FE. So FE pass papers for the fine exams. And also makeup testy, supplementary, can have also even supplementary, supplementary pasting paper. I will be using all of these references on teaching you and on transferring the concepts of vector to your mind. So those are the reference books. And also the another important tool is you should have scientific calculator. Very important scientific calculator can have by any of the authorized manufacturer. It should be original scientific calculator. I do recommend that you should have a scientific calculator known as F991, and this is called the Casio or by Casio Casio manufacturer. So it is F9. So this is called the Casio. So Casio is the manufacturing company, then it is F991 MS scientific calculator. So in case that you don't have it, don't you worry, I thought about how can I solve your problems of not having it. So the best, so this is the appearance of what of Casio scientific calculator. So if you close it, you see that it has a label of Casio. And also there's a back end like this one. So if you open, so this is the appearance of Casio. So it is called Casio FX991MSSV. That one. So this is the display. It has been covered by chalks because I'm using it. So this is the display and these are the buttons. So all of these buttons they have particular applications in diploma engineering mathematics, in diploma engineering mathematics or diploma scientific mathematics. The good thing again, the back cover contains constants, so these are the constants. That we need them sometimes in physics if you are learning physics or you need maybe in chemistry you need this constant but this is the conversions of the unit unit conversions so that's the importance i'll be teaching you step to step and also in this channel i used to add another requirements on how you can use this scientific calculator successful to assist you or to aid you in your process of learning so in case you don't have this scientific calculator, I used to sell it. Go to the descriptions of this video, you will see the explanation or even watch the video that is explained about it, how you can order a scientific, a scientific calculator books online, okay, under the Olin July, uh, uh, Olin July bookstore and Olin July maybe, yes, Olin July bookstore. So I can ship it, it means that you'll find the price of different scientific calculator that I have, you can order, you can add the shipping cost, then I can send to any regions within 31 regions of United Republic of Tanzania, and you can have it within a short time. So no need for you to hustle. I have tried my level best to answer, because remember that the one thing that I want to warn you, there are many sellers of these scientific calculators, but the issue is this. Some of the companies they used to make a fake scientific calculator and label the way it is and have the appearance like this one, but internally it's fake 
and it's cheap price. So take care about that. So that is the very important reference. Very important reference tools. We call it a scientific calculator. So that the first thing, or the, uh, the first thing that I wanted you to know, uh, all of these books, all of these reference materials, you should have all of them, so you can have at least three to four of them for you to learn engineering and scientific mathematics for diploma level, not for undergraduate level, not for postgraduate level, for diploma level. Okay. And then I uh, would like just to share with you at uh, the second scene, I would like to share with you all in July's big picture. Okay, I'd like to share with you all in July's big picture and I need much space. Okay. I don't know if this space will help me or it will. Okay, so I would like to share with you all in July. All in July all in July, big picture. Big picture in what? This is my big picture in mathematics. How do I view mathematics? Okay, big picture of 40 of maths. So, to call mathematics or maths. So, this is my big picture, you see? So, in mathematics, I can break mathematics into two branches, right? And these are the two branches. We have a branch, we call it pure, Mathematics, pure maths, and also we have another branch called to apply mathematics. And the meanings for me to share with you this big picture. Apply mathematics, you have pure mathematics, apply mathematics. So pure mathematics you use to learn in A level, in advanced level, advanced secondary schools. So you spend two years in Native Republic of Tanzania. And also pure mathematics you can learn and at undergraduate level and even at postgraduate level, the master degree and even the PhD or the doctorate in pure mathematics, which is specialized specifically in the subject of mathematics. And there are different programs that you can enjoy on this. My main focus, because you know, engineers, we don't we don't find us much in this part unless that we have polytechnic institutions that allow us to do maybe the two diplomas of pure mathematics and something engineering, right? But my main focus today for this lecture, we have applied mathematics. That's what I wanted to share with you. So it's applied mathematics, what we say. So it's applied mathematics, also we can break. Uh, it means we take the concepts of mathematics and apply it somewhere. We have many applications of applying ma of mathematics in real life or in different fields. But I want to share with you a few of them. So here, we may get uh, one of the branch which is called the, we can have or we can apply mathematics in, in science called the scientific maths which is a very concerned at the uh, diploma level and also we can apply mathematics in, in engineering so when you apply mathematics in engineering we call this engineering maths again we can apply mathematics in, in economics right so economics can apply mathematics in, and this is called the economics maths. Again, we can have engineering or we can need mathematics in, in astronomy, for example, or maybe, for example, in political or in medicine, for example, that in, in biology or in quality medicine, or yes, in human biology, we call it human biology or medicine, for example, we can have medicine mathematics. So mathematics that are applied in learning medicine. Okay, so we have some other also applications. But my main focus now is these two branches, or these two branches, scientific mathematics and engineering mathematics. So I would like also to draw another three diagrams or another levels of these combinations of scientific and engineering mathematics. So this is the way that we can get. I can break it, I used to break it into three three other branches or other levels. The first branch that suppose that the arrow I ended in that column is like this. So then I can have another line like this and the, this is what we say that this is the situation and this is another arrow. So here we have uh, the first branch of engineering mathematics, engineering science, scientific mathematics. We have basic engineering and the scientific, scientific, or scientific maths. This is the one of the branch 
of Engineering and Scientific Mathematics. Also, we have another branch here, which we call the uh, higher, higher engineering and the scientific, scientific maths, maths. Okay, and also we have another level we call it advanced, advanced science and the engineering maths. But if now you go to this level, you have, you know that the mathematics will be learning for engineers is quite different from the science. If you go as well as you go to the higher level. But I'm trying just to give you the overview. So the basic engineering or science mathematics, this is being taught worldwide to ordinary diploma students. And then the higher engineering and scientific mathematics, it has been taught worldwide to undergraduate, say undergraduate, undergraduate undergraduate students or in some of the countries we call this as bachelor right so we call this bachelor ba bachelor bachelor means undergraduate or bachelor degree right so also this advanced and the engineering mathematics is used to be covered in, in postgraduate say postgraduate so postgraduate studies and here we have two mainly two program, master program or doctorate, doctorate program. So in say doctorate program, when you hear somebody is uh, having an initial in his name, a PhD or maybe the next name. So let me explain that this big picture in my mind. So when God was revealing the big picture of mathematics, because God has anointed me to teach uh, basic mathematics for level, in, uh, also engineering mathematics for diploma level, advanced mathematics for A-level students, engineering mathematics for undergraduate students right now. I, I believe that he, he is in progress to prepare me to teach also postgraduate engineering mathematics. Okay, so when, when, when these pictures have been revealed, so we have two main branches of math, pure mathematics, there's also its particular applications in way in the software. For example, the MATLAB is basically used for applying mathematics and also for the pure science to in different research. And maybe, for example, in statistics or in probability, there's a lot of things that these people used to contribute in the world. We are in the world of technology based or on the foundations of mathematics. So then we have applied mathematics. So in this applied mathematics, at least we have many different areas that we can apply for our mathematics. I gave you examples scientific, maths, engineering mathematics, economics mathematics, medical mathematics, political mathematics, you see. And then also we have maybe some astronomy mathematics. We have different branches of different fields that actually that we apply mathematics. So our main focus. I'm teaching you scientific maths and engineering mathematics. Again, we can break down this concept into the simplest form so that students can learn them and master them and, and meet the requirements according to the level of the problems they are going to solve in the community. And this is the first brand, basic engineering mathematics, science mathematics, and this is under a diploma level. And also you have higher engineering and science mathematics. So we say that it is the undergraduate or bachelor level. Also you have advanced science and engineering mathematics and this for postgraduate, master or doctorate, PhD or PhD. So this is advanced science mathematics or advanced engineering mathematics and this for postgraduate we mean that master and doctorate students. So our focus in this channel will be on this basic engineering and science mathematics. A good news also, if your progress means you upgrade yourself, it means you will pass or you will graduate the diploma level, and then you want to pursue the undergraduate level or the bachelor degree level, and then you will have four modules, at least the four modules in each of the institution, four to three modules, minimum three, maximum is four, or that will be learning about higher engineering and scientific mathematics or undergraduate. The good news is I'm also teaching this in their own channel, YouTube channels that called the Online Undergraduate Paul Institute of Tanzania in Square Bracket on July M. So you'll benefit again in my digital program. So we'll meet again in all the models, whether four, whether three, we'll meet together in this other secondary YouTube channel. But also I have some tools 
YouTube some uh, other four YouTube channels away from this. The one of the YouTube, my ch official YouTube channel, and this is the second YouTube channel that I've introduced to you. My third YouTube channel is for all level called the Tanzania Online All Level Secondary Schools in square bracket on the July August. My official YouTube channel again. I have the first YouTube channel that called Ufalme wa Benguni Umekaribia Tanzania on the July M where I used to, 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 to teach the secrets and the truth about what the Bible. Okay, so I want to take care of your soul and I want to take care of your of your heart also to be connected to God. And how you can link the engineering that you are taking and the knowledge of the word of God. Fantastic. So make sure that also you visit it also. So it means that it's called the, the first channel is called the Falme Wambingoni Umekaribia Tanzania in square bracket or in July M. So you can search those channels on the YouTube. The, the first channel, the YouTube channel also is for what it is for advanced level. We call it the Tanzania, I call it, we call it the Tanzania Online A-Level Secondary, A-Level Second School, in square brackets or in July M. Then the last, the sixth, the sixth channel is called that the Kingdoms of Heaven is in Tanzania, in square bracket or in July M. I'm teaching also the truths of the Word of God and relating to daily life, daily human life, regardless of which field you are, but I'm also teaching mainly my main focus. I want to teach the engineering or the engineers, the sciences, the scientific, the mathematicians. You see, to see the connections that because you know that you should have the spirit of God and also should use the intelligence that God has given to you. So you should have these two things simultaneously in life. And that's what you have just a quotation if you go to the Genesis chapter 41. And then verse 37, 30, and 38, when the Pharaoh declared publicly that where can we get the man like Joseph, who is full with the Spirit of God? And then uh, Pharaoh himself said to Joseph that, and declared to him that where there is no any person in the entire country of Egypt who have knowledge and intelligence like you. So Joseph had two things simultaneously which that's why he has been successful in the Jacobos or in Jacobs or in Israel's generations. So that's also uh, in the community that God has put. That's, that, the, that is what God has put in me. So I'm trained every day to manage on those two areas and have a link of them. And also I, I have to prepare a certain generations, the present and future generations, to combine these two things and apply them for the penance of their life. So may God bless you for listening that one. Okay, so that is uh, the big picture. So now let me take you on to now, giving you uh, on to the, the combinations, on to the, uh, the third thing I want to share with you is the combinations of the course outline for the, for the diploma level in engineering and science mathematics. And also when I check or I review some of the course outlines, then I won't mention those course outlines, but I reviewed those course outlines and I took the specific objectives, or we call them some enabling outcomes, break them into small concepts of teaching students the concepts of 40 or vectors. So I would like just to present to you, first of all, subtopics of 40, subtopics of vector. Okay? Subtopics of vector. Before we go to the contents, I want to present to you subtopics of 40 of vector, right, of vector for what it, for ordinary, for ordinary diploma, because you have also had a diploma for ordinary, ordinary diploma student, okay? So the topic of vector is actually beginning from the fundamental vector we learned in all level studies, and then building the concepts on top of it until maybe it reaches the point where we need as engineers to apply. Okay, so the first thing, so we have almost this, uh, we have some of the subtopics, let me mention them. So because this is, okay, so let's say that we have the first subtopic, we have to cover fundamental vector. Okay, fundamental, it means that the fundamental concepts of vector, that the first concept that you have of the first subtopic, fundamental vector, and then, after covering the concept of fundamental, we have, uh, we have another subtopic called the ratio theorem. Very important if you do for advanced 
vector can lens even internal divisions and the external division of the vector, but that's not the contents of this lens. Then the set subtopic is called the uh, uh, we call it the scalar multiplications, which we call the uh, dot product, right? And its application, you have to cover dot product and its application. And also, if you studied also uh, during your O level, if you studied uh, a subject called that, called the um, uh, particular, because there's the best mathematics, additional mathematics. If you did additional mathematics in a in O level, then you are familiar with some of this concept. You compare it to also in basic applied mathematics, or basic, basic mathematics. So dot product, and then the next subtopic is called the cross product, and its applications, how to find its applications, very important in matrix, especially the cross product, because we have vector calculus in undergraduate level, and then we have some of the quantities, we have to use the concepts of the dot product, and even scalar products to find them. Okay, so we have something called the gradient of the vector, then so very useful in engineering mathematics. So cross product, okay. And then the fifth, uh, the fifth, fifth concepts we call the equation of a line. So we call it equation of a line. So we call it, uh, uh, we call it uh, vector equation of a line, vector equation of a line, vector equation of the line. Stay tuned. I will teach you all of these concepts. Vector equations of what of a line. So vector equations of a line, and then the sixth concept, in which actually that you have to understand, is plane vector. Plane vector. So we call it plane vector, or sometimes this subtopic you can call it a vector of a plane. So vector we can call it a vector of a plane. Vector of a plane. So those are the six subtopics according to the syllabus. In advanced mathematics for A level, <laughs> we used to start many, many, many subtopics compared to what they are presented here. Even uh, let just me explain, okay. In advanced mathematics also, we, we who have pursued advanced mathematics, for example, after fundamental vector, we used to learn rest theory, yes, fine. And then see we used to learn internal and external divisions of the vector. We derive the formulas and solve problems. In dot product also, we start dot product and then we have another subtopic called applications of dot products, which basically we have to apply in three areas and solve this problem. And then we have to learn about cross product and the next subtopic we have is applications of cross product because there are five applications of cross product in pure mathematics. And then in vector equation of the line, we cover a lot of things. We have we used to learn about skew lines. We used to learn maybe intersections of the two lines, of the two vector lines. So we have a lot of things to cover in vector equations of the line. Also in advanced mathematics, we use in case of the plane, we used to find maybe to find even the intersections of the planes. Maybe uh, we combine the concept of the plane vector and the vector of the equation of the line. So we used to cover a lot. But for a diploma level, when we teach this one, just to touch it, just we teach half of it, 50% of what A level students cover, and this also is 50%, and this also almost 50 to 45% of what the A level students used to cover, and this even 45 to 50 of what A level students used to cover. So it's not tough because we teach you we, because we need to apply. What you use to learn in advanced mathematics, we learn science. Scientific mathematics and engineering mathematics, economics mathematics, medical mathematics. So we learn different concepts in A level in advanced in advanced mathematics, which will be applicable in different fields. But here we have already specialized that we are focusing to the science diploma students and also medical engineering. Okay, so that's the good thing that they want to tell. So if now you have that, you you uh, you, you you accept what I'm presenting to you. Maybe maybe in my institution, in case of your institution, you go further from this. Please let me know in the comment section so I can make a video of the content that you're missing from the list of those subtopics. Okay. So the next part that I want just you to to to, to share with you in lecture one is now the contents. Means that what it means of contents? We take these subtopics, I take this and myself as a teacher, I take these subtopics and break them, them, break them, break each subtopic into the concepts that you have to cover 
and we have to solve problems on that particular concept. That means of 40, contents. So we call it the contents of 40 of vector. So I have my own contents of vector I designed myself after reviewing the course outlines for diploma, engineering and science students. But even your teacher also can have its own contents. We differ. We are all teachers, we are all teaching engineering mathematics, we are all using the reference books I mentioned, but we differ according to how God has designed us. Okay, so this is the content. So the first content, I will teach you about introduction. Okay, so that is fundamental vector, introductions of a vector. And we start from the, from the sketch, what the means of vector. That's the point where I'll be starting to you because I know where I'm taking you to this point. Don't get tired, don't be discouraged, don't be bored of what I'm doing because I'm building a house. So when we'll be reaching to this concept, we have already built a house, we can call that house vector. Interesting. So it means this the foundations, we building the walls, then against now when we reach the plane vector, it's just like we are making a roof and bring the finishing of the house, we are ready now to leave it there in engineering mathematics. Are you ready for that? Okay, I think that you are ready. Even myself that I'm ready. Okay, so introduction of 40 of vector. So in this in, uh, context, so in this concept, I will teach you about what the means of vector and how we present vector in engineering mathematics or in science mathematics. The second subtopic, uh, I will be teaching you about terminologies terminologies, we still in the, in the subtopic terminologies, okay, terminologies of vectors. We have many terminologies, more than six terminologies of vectors we should know because we use those terminologies as long as we continue on building our house that called the vector or our song that we call vector. So we should have chorus, should have bridge, should have intro, outro, should have what? Verses. Verses.